Welcome back to Survival Everybody, Episode 8. I'm very excited how things are going, but I think it's time to upgrade our tent. I'm getting tired of sleeping out in the woods here with this tent. And we need to get a house. I was kind of taking a look at those houses here, the farmhouses. And I kind of want to still like do like a medium bridge before we go to the all-out big house. So this will be a stepping stone to our next house. But I think I want to go with the log cabin here. Now it's 18,000. We still have to sell our tent, which I suppose we're not going to get diddly squat for that. Let's see what we get. Yeah, 935. Let's go ahead and do that. Kind of painful. Let's get that bike out of the way here. We should probably get... Oh, we might be able to keep our stove there. But yeah, we got to get someplace better sleeping. We got to do some landscaping as well. Got all this equipment laying all over. Got to start making it look somewhat decent around here. I think the time is now. It's been a little while. Okay, so we'll grab the log cabin. Again, 18,000. Make sure we got... I guess the sleep trigger is actually inside the building, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I'm not seeing it there. It's got to be there, though, because it's under farmhouses. Yeah, we can put it back a little ways, as long as we're not hitting that tree. It's almost like it's made for it right here. All right, so let's check it out. We'll pop inside. I got some nice living quarters. It's good to be out of that tent. Uh, I don't see... Is it over here? I don't see a spawning location for that. So my question is, do we actually spawn here? I guess we'll uh, just let it go as it is. If we do need a spawn spot, we'll put that duffel bag down, I suppose. And make it work. Yes, yeah, so at least we got a nice living area. I like it. But now we're left with 2,000. So let's go ahead and we're going to do some landscaping, I think. we got to kind of figure out where we kind of want to put things. I probably want to put a shatter burn or something we could put the equipment storage over here eventually so i think for now we'll kind of just make like a parking lot make it look somewhat tidy I just discovered that I cannot hook this hitch up to the tractor, so we actually have to use it with our truck. You don't think that would happen like that, but that is interesting. Uh, the truck can probably... we got to make a spot for our truck over here as well. I wasn't even paying attention to a nice little spot here, I guess. Probably right in here would be good, I think. Gonna pull up in here. Not too bad.
Our trailer. I suppose, how much room do we got? Maybe we should put that there as well. We could probably get them both next to each other, maybe. It's probably good I do use this spreader with the truck just for the simple fact that that tractor drives so slow that we'd probably waste more product. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it doesn't do that. I can't believe it doesn't have a regular tractor hitch. I should see if I can configure it. We'll have to get our shop over here at some point too and we can take a look at it then. Let's see, and then we need a spot for the combine. I might move these attachments elsewhere. How about, let's see here. It didn't let me do this earlier. I'm gonna see if we can do it now. It didn't let me paint the gravel in this spot over here. Okay, so it looks like it'll work now. Might have been some equipment in the way. Oh no, right here. What is... I don't know what causes that. That is weird. Yeah, there it is again. That spot right there. Alright, if I keep it... Oh, that's weird. It's like a bu pretty buggy. Okay, we can put the combine there. And then, I guess we could put the skid steer along next to that. All temporary, of course, until we get our sheds put up. But it'll be a little while because we got a lot of income to have to make up for. I do want to expand the bee husbandry or whatever we're going to call it, the bee operation. Ooh, this is bigger than I thought. A lot bigger than I thought. Maybe the gravel was too nice. We should have probably maybe put down some... There we go. We set the head down too. Maybe the grass was too nice. We should have used some mud maybe. Now we can have the attachments there for the skid steer. And we put this over here. Something like that! What do you guys think? It's a pretty good start. Oh, we got the tractor yet. Where's our designated spot for the tractor? I suppose we could put it right next to the skid steer somewhere there. There's plenty of room here. Small tractor. Okay! There we go, let's take a look at the sky view. Not too bad, things are starting to look up. We'll have to make plans on expanding the fields where we're going to put our, ne our next field. If we got, we actually own, we own this whole square, like, so, yeah, there's plenty over here we could even do and expand over there. Suppose we'd have to remove some trees and all that good stuff. We could run another field over here along the road, which might not be a bad idea. We could start some more over here, too. That's something we'll have to think about. We do have our wheat that's ready to go, so I think we're going to go ahead and tackle that right now. And then... It is wheat, right? It was oats. My bad. It was oats that we planted. Probably won't get that big of a harvest out of there, so we could probably get it all on one load. But let's go ahead and fire this up. Get our header up. And 
can start tackling that. Depending on the price, you may just sell it right away. But if we have to wait, I guess it's not that bad to wait because it's like I said, it's only gonna be like one wagon full here, so it's not gonna be a whole lot. Swap drop should be off, so I don't have to worry about that. Last time. Yes, perfect. We'll have this for money, then we'll start racking up some more lettuce, some honey, which I do want to expand that honey operation. And then we'll have to look at starting to cut trees down so we can get our next field put in. Done. Look at that, not even, well, just over a quarter full. As predicted, the yield wouldn't be that great. That's just how oats is. So let's see if we even want to sell it or we could just leave it in the combine. Let's check the sale. Let's see, oats. So we got Railroad North and the cereal factory. This looks like 1600 is our top, but we can get up to 18. What's the month right now? We are in March. Yeah, it's dropping. I think, hmm, I think we'll wait. We just gotta remember. Oh, I gotta get sides put on that wagon anyway, unless we can dump it in the back of our truck. But we'll just leave it here, I think. Safe and sound in the combine. Don't have to worry about it getting damaged. And let's shut this beast off. All right. So I think what we want to do, I know this ain't a lot of bees over here, but we can start kind of utilizing, they're supposed to give a little extra yield, I think, to what crops were that? Let's see, bees. Beehives produce honey. We place beehives near a field, uh, certain crops. So it doesn't tell you which certain crops. I believe it's canola, sunflowers, and there is one more, maybe sorghum, if I'm not mistaken. We can't do sunflowers because we need the proper header, but we could do canola. Again, our yield wouldn't be that big. It would sell about the same time we need to sell our oats there in the combine. So let's go ahead and I think we're going to have to start getting this tilled up. And then I think to finish up the day, we'll put our sidewalk in on our house. So we can not have to walk through this grass here. And I, we could probably make this a little bit nicer here too. But we want to get our work done for the day before we lose sunlight. We've got a lot of it to do. Let's see, so we can use the cultivator. And that would be this rusted guy right here. Again, a decent working with on this, which is a very good purchase, I think. What we'll probably do is on the next episode, I think, is we're going to start looking at making our next field. We'll have to do actually a lot of wood cutting for that. We should be good on our lime, because we just did it for this last round. Yeah, I guess it won't say what the percentage is, because precision farming is off. So we should be good there. Yes, the next thing we got to start looking into upgrading is getting our fertilizer operation going as well for the fields here, because we could be getting a lot better yield we put some fertilizer down so that's probably next on the agenda for our operations yeah this goes actually fairly decent still have to use the weeder of course because this doesn't take care of the weeds first time when you plow a field though the plowing state 
gets rid of the feel, uh, the uh, weeds, excuse me. So that does help. But I'll start plucking away here, and I think what we'll do is go ahead and plant canola right away. And then uh, it'll be taken care of. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, put your hand in the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna I live real good. How is it supposed to feel? How is it supposed to feel? How is it supposed to feel? They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said Okay, looks like everything is covered there. Looking good, that is ready to go. We still can't afford the fertilizer yet, so we'll just hold off on that. Oh yeah, I did go ahead and put a road in here, just because I felt like we needed one. With all the running down we're doing, I thought it could be a little tightened up a little bit. Might do that here as well, once we get our sidewalk in. Should we just go the whole series and not wash any of this equipment? I'm starting to think that we should do that, just to, <laughs> to see what happens. I suppose that when they're sitting outside like this, they get rained on and get washed off. I think that's what happened to our combine, because I swear that combine was a lot dirtier than it is now. Okay, so we got two. I was also thinking, unless there's, let's check and see if there's a spot to, okay, there is a sleep trigger here. It's just not showing. I was like, oh, I don't remember seeing a sleep trigger, because it should show up like this, but it, <laughs> Okay, we got one. I don't have to worry about that. Otherwise, we'd have to buy that duffel bag and put that down, I think. Okay, let's get a decent sidewalk painted in here. Should we do a concrete? I almost think it's too early to do that. We'll wait till we get our final house put in. We'll just stick with the gravel, I think. It can't be too good. Quite yet. Let's see, we could probably... What we'll kind of go like that towards our driveway? I was also thinking that maybe it would be uh, kind of a good idea. We could probably go something like this. Uh, kind of a good idea if we would grab the plow and maybe plow this up on our tractor so we can actually have a decent lawn. But the thing is, yet with a cabin, this isn't our final lawn, so it almost feels like we shouldn't waste our time getting things that nice. And who knows, I think with a with a different house, maybe we'd put it over here. That's something to think about too, but we do gotta have a spot for our machinery. Or would that be better over here? That's something we'll have to cross when that bridge happens. 
I think this could be tightened up just a little bit as well. Paint with the dirt a little bit here. I was just thinking, wouldn't that be cool if, like, in the next farming simulator, they have it if you, I don't know, drive in the same spot for a long time? Like, over the course, because obviously you wouldn't want to have that happen all the time. But if you keep constantly going in the same spot, it would make a kind of a nice road. That would be very, uh... Well, a little more realistic, I hope, too, because you don't want it to look blocky. The next farming sim should be freaking awesome. I think they got a lot of plans, but uh, no leaks. There might be some people saying there's leaks, but we don't know for sure. All right, so what I think we're going to do is leave it there for today's episode. On the next episode, I think what we're going to do is probably decide where we're going to put in that next field. I'm thinking we might go across the road over here because we own so much of this. The only thing is it's going to take us a while to, to do all these trees. It would be nice to rent some big equipment and really knock things down, but yeah, that's something we'll have to figure out. Quite a bit of land over there. And I think I still want to keep the trees here for privacy, so maybe we could do a couple fields, depending on how it splits out. Maybe I'll just use this road as a reference. I think eventually I want, I want to pave this road too and make it nice, but that's for another episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. I'm going to go take a nap.